Hello. Today we're going to set up our multi-monitor driver for Magic Touch touchscreens. Uh, the multi-monitor driver is originally intended for a desktop computer with two or more touchscreen monitors attached, but it's also useful for laptops where you might want to use an external display. Uh, today we have a laptop set up with a, an external 24-inch uh, monitor with a 24 inch add-on touchscreen kit. Uh, we're going to use the um, the multi-monitor driver and on laptops this is useful because uh, with an external monitor sometimes you might want to use um, an expanded desktop rather than a mirror mode desktop and also because you might want to use a different resolution. So to get started with the installation you first need to obtain the multi-monitor driver. Uh, now on most of our driver CDs, the multi-monitor driver is already there, uh, but if you don't have the CD or if you can't find it on the CD, you can go to our website and near the top of the screen click download and go to the most recent controller, the USB-XD or USB5-XD controller <clears throat> and Windows drivers. Uh, this is the second one in the list, multi-monitor v2.4 for Windows 7 or uh, for older versions. Uh, you can also use the multi-monitor v2.3 for Windows Vista XP in 2000. Uh, go ahead and click that and then save the, the file to your desktop. Now we already have the file here so you find the zip file and right click on it, select extract or extract all, then on the extraction wizard uh, go ahead and click next. It's telling you where it, it's extracting to. And just click next again. And then finish. Now in the extracted folder, you're looking for setup or setup.exe. Double click on this file and click install. And it tells you to please plug in the Magic Touch USB controller to USB port. Uh, now, if you're going to install more than one touchscreen, you do need to plug in all of the touchscreen controllers at the same time when you see this prompt. So go ahead and plug in the controller. Windows will work for a moment to tell you that it's found new hardware. and then you can click OK. It tells you then must reboot Windows to complete this installation. Click OK one more time and when it reboots we can begin calibrating the, the touchscreen. Now that your computer is finished rebooting we can now begin calibrating the touchscreen. And if you look at your desktop you should have two new icons touch USB and swap button. Double click on touch USB and click calibration. Now one of the first things that you might want to do is identify the monitors. Uh, this is near the top uh, next to the drop down menu where it says monitor 1 or monitor 2. Click identify and it simply labels which monitor is which. So this is monitor 1 on the laptop and monitor 2 is the external monitor. Now since we have the touchscreen only on the external monitor, we're going to select monitor 2 in the drop down menu. And then below that, where it says calibrate, we leave it on 5 points for now and click go. Now important to note is that if you have your resolution set extremely high, you may need to do a 25 point calibration instead. But we have adjusted the resolution so the 5 point is going to be sufficient for the, the video here. We click go and then it tells us to please touch on the touch panel installed on this screen. Now if there's any problem with the physical connections or if there's any problem with the installation of the touch screen it's going to be, be very obvious at this point because you're going to touch the screen and you're not going to see a reaction. But since we've installed it correctly we're going to touch the screen and then it's going to move on to the next step where it says uh, touch the center of the calibration point. Now when you're calibrating the touch screen, you do need to position yourself uh, in the position where you will be using the monitor. 
um, this will avoid parallax errors in the future. So go ahead and touch the screen and hold the point for about one second and let go and it moves on to the next. You do all five points just the same way. And you're done. You can touch the screen just to be sure that it's accurate. Watch the cursor. Make sure that the cursor is following the movement of your fingertip and that it is accurate. And if it is, then you're done.